Welcome back. When it comes to social media and your self-esteem, is there any type of connection? Well, some mental health experts say it could damage a person's confidence, so we sat down with some millennials to see how it's impacting their lives. Selfies, likes, retweets, they're all part of the social media game. For some, it's not a big deal. But for many young people, there could be more to social media than meets the eye. To some degree, I think it is kind of a confidence booster and something that they do rely on. Sandra Grable is a senior communications major at the University of Wisconsin, Green Bay. She admits when she was younger, Facebook became more than just a way to keep in touch. When, you know, I would post something and when people would comment on it, it's, oh, you know, maybe, maybe that's not good or maybe I didn't say that right. Anna Katner is a junior and a social media intern at UWGB. I, I definitely have seen that impact on millennials that likes have a correlation to um, confidence and being accepted by your peers. Sandra says while she loves having an easy way to stay in touch with friends, social media can bring out the worst in people. My personal experience, a lot of fights that actually would occur between friends or something where it's, uh, you know, like, oh, you guys were all together. Why didn't you invite me? So we went ahead and asked the experts. Dr. Ryan Martin is a chair of psychology at UWGB. He says social media problems start with something called social comparison. Uh, Facebook and, and Twitter and Instagram, they offer opportunities for people to compare themselves to others in ways unlike we've ever seen before. And so from everything from the posts that other people post, the pictures they post, um, but also how many friends they have, how many followers they have. It offers, it, it's all part of this thing where I, the, the user, can look at other people's lives and, and make comparisons in ways that I never could before. I've definitely heard of something like a like phenomenon that people produce social media just because they think that likes are telling them um, that they're accepted into society. While some think it's a way to fit in, Dr. Martin says post people use to get all those likes can actually backfire. We only talk about the positive experiences we're having and because of that, um, you know, it's you're, you're really comparing yourself to, in some ways, this sort of unobtainable gold standard. And in the long run, and we know that in doing so, you're, you're likely to see lower self-esteem, you're likely to see um, increases in depression and anxiety and things like that. Now that Sandra's older, she sees social media a lot differently. Everything seems so perfect. Uh, and then, of course, when something um, tragic occurs, we see that, and it's real. Um, but to some degree, we have two polar opposites, and there's this middle chunk that's missing. Experts say if social media does make you feel better about yourself, before you do post next time, think twice about it. Now, Dr. Ryan Martin did tell us not all social media is bad. It can be used for good things like promoting a cause you're passionate about, raising awareness about social issues, and keeping in touch with people you don't see every day. Absolutely. However, he does recommend it's good to take a break from social media and use it only for those good purposes.